Now to a career to remember. Mike Jacobs is retiring at the end of the month after 37 years. And during that time, he's covered thousands of stories, including an assassination attempt on a presidential candidate's life. The shooter was a 21-year-old man from Milwaukee. Arthur Bremer shot Alabama Governor George Wallace on May 15, 1972, while Wallace was holding a presidential campaign rally in Laurel, Maryland. Police immediately arrested Bremer, and after they learned his identity, Secret Service and FBI agents searched Bremer's Milwaukee apartment. Inside, they found a Confederate flag and 38 caliber bullets like the ones used to shoot Wallace. Bremer's father and his brother couldn't believe it. There's no uh, explanation for uh, if it was him, uh, his behavior, uh, and what had happened. There's no explanation we can give at all. Neighbors said Bremer was odd. He never had many friends with him. He was always like a loner. The 21-year-old loner from Milwaukee was convicted and sentenced to prison. Now, with a long, scraggly beard and a receding hairline, Bremer appears to have aged a lot in the last 10 years. His warden describes Bremer as a model prisoner who doesn't have many friends. I can't say categorically that he does not have any friends or associates in here, but he's not the type of inmate that uh, uh, walks in a group in the yard or is with a group of people in the rec halls. Uh, he's basically a loner. The Maryland Parole Commission recently refused to move up the date when Bremer will first be eligible for parole. Meanwhile, George Wallace is running for governor of Alabama again. We went to a campaign rally in tiny Aniana, Alabama, and asked Wallace how he feels about Arthur Bremer. I have forgiven him for shooting me, and I hope that he's asked forgiveness uh, for having shot me. The unpublished first half of Bremer's diary is scheduled to be sold at public auction in Milwaukee next week. In the diary, he describes a plot to kill Wallace or then-President Richard Nixon. Scribbled in large capital letters, the words, Me, Assassin. The diary also reveals possible motives for the assassination attempt, and it shows Arthur Bremer to be a confused, calculating, complex, friendless man. We'll take a closer look at the diary and talk to Bremer's mother, his warden, and Governor George Wallace this week on Arthur Bremer, Me, Assassin. I'm Mike Jacobs. Bremer has been released from prison. Governor Wallace has died. We have the story behind this story coming up tonight on Live at 10.